everybody, Susan Leonard Kasmer here. I want to show you a really cool technique using the Milan bezels and luminous layers. Oh my gosh, if you want to get a great, beautiful, vibrant look, use these uh, luminous layers. So here's some good techniques. Check it out. Okay, you guys, I want to show you a couple other products in the ice resin line that I love, love, love. These are such beautiful backgrounds. This is the luminous layers, and they're these gorgeous, gorgeous colors um, that you can get, um, you know, with this look. Once resin is put on these, um, they just become so gorgeously rich in color. So I actually decided to pull out one of the lighter colors just to show you under resin how beautiful this will look. So um, also this is part of the line too. This is for all of the Milan bezels. This bezel right here is part of the Milan series. It's the rectangle. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and lay this right onto my piece, right onto my luminous layer. And I'm just going to trace it on the inside. This is the template that comes with the line. It actually has a cutout for every single shape that we have in the Milan bezels. So once I have this, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. This is usually right on the right on the line is where it, it measures up to the piece. Get this little end off here. It's a nice thick paper too that's really easy to cut and that's going to fit perfectly inside my piece so what I want to do this is also a paper sealant this is a water based uh, it's a quick dry um, I use this to tack pieces down so they don't float up with the resin I also use this to seal paper which I'll show you in just a minute too so you just want to use a tiny little bit you don't want to overdo it or it's going to take a long time to dry. The thing that I really do love about the paper sealant is that it it dries so quickly. So um, my piece is not going to float up. Yep. We put on a little bit more with this piece. I think with this, it's a heavier heavier than a paper, so I'll get a little bit more put on. It'll still work out perfectly. There we go. Get the ends tacked down. Things are not always so perfect. There you go. This is going to hold it down well. This will just take a minute to dry. And in the meantime, if you have any type of paper in your work that you're putting in, these two right here are coated. I cut this piece out here and I want to show you the paper sealant. Ice resin has a tendency to make paper transparent. So um, if you want your paper to look exactly as it looks right now, you really want to put a paper sealant on here. So you, um, um, when you're actually uh, with any type of paper, this will work with. So if you have any of your old photos or, or anything you want to put on here, um, do that. And I'm going to put a little bit of sealant on the back. This one is already sealed, and I actually picked this piece out to work with, the, with this luminous layer. I thought it looked really nice together. Okay, so this is just finishing up and then I'm going to take already my pre-mixed ice resin. Um, I showed you this mixing in another quick little short video. You can refer to that. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pour my resin in. You can, you can mix your tints in or you can just pour a full layer and you can see how gorgeous, gorgeous the paper is in the background. And also, um, I'm doing this very carefully, but with ice resin, it's made to be a doming resin. So you actually can really get this poured up into a nice dome. And if you don't move this piece or walk around with this piece, um, it's not, it, it, you really won't have it spilling over the side. Um, if I do have any spills on the side, I'm just going to take a wipe right now and I would get, I don't have any spills on the side, but if I did, I just kind of take a wipe and wipe it off before it dries so I won't have trouble later. So that's the, um, just, and here's some, some different ways just to use paper and the luminous layers, the, um, the paper sealant and the template for this project right here. So click the links below to learn more about these products.